Good morning, party people! Good morning. It is Brandy for Thunder Horse Descending. I'm here today on a Tuesday because it's Tuesday and on Tuesday, y'all, we do live stuff. We actually do live stuff Monday through Friday, but it's Tuesday. We're excited about it. Gonna go to the doctor today. Gonna, gonna do the morning coffee and then go to the doctor and see what they have to tell me about this knee. <sighs> good morning, good morning, good afternoon, Helen. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning, Becky. Hi, Linda. Hi, Laverro. Oh, hello. Hi, PK. Hi, Rosanna. Hi, Karen. Miss Barb's in the house. Everyone is freezing here in Tennessee. Oh, my. Tennessee, get it together. South. <laughs> Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Ginny. Time to be with Cindy. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Tina. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are doing morning stuff. I feel really like short. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's my chair. Maybe that's not better. Hold on. It's not better. It's my leg hurts. There we go. <laughs> okay. Get it together today. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Okay. So here we are on Tuesday. Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Oh, what the day is it? It's the 19th. It's the 19th today. There's stuff in things. What are the stuff in No, it's next week. Okay. <laughs> We're getting, I'm getting back into regular scheduled morning programming. So I'm like, what day is it? What are we doing? Hello? What's happening? Um, so today, Shannon is shipping today. Uh, we got a whole bunch of orders from the Claimant Lab bead sale. I did get done with them last night, posted them about mm, just about nine o'clock. So I was a little later than, nor than I thought it was going to be. But I did get them posted, so they're posted. Everybody's stuff went up. And uh, so we got some orders. Shannon's shipping. Whoops. <laughs> Not that I didn't go where I thought it was going to go. Um, <laughs> Shannon's shipping today. Phyllis is coming in, and then as soon as she gets here and I get her set up with her stuff over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see that? That's, that's Phyllis's table. So Phyllis works upstairs. So I got, this place is just a wreck. Don't even just pretend none of that's there. I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it. I heard it's going to snow. I told Shannon, I was like, it's supposed to snow seven inches on Monday. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, how am I going to do the driveway? <laughs> so. We're going to try to figure that out. I'm going with, maybe it'll just pass by. And if it doesn't, I might have to, I don't know, something. Something's going to have to happen. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Barb. Hi, Donna. Donna Dragslayer's in the house. Good morning. It's cold here in Maryland. 38. Oh, it's like 35 here. It's really nice. <laughs> I'm in Minnesota, if you didn't know that. Good morning. Beautiful earrings today. Thank you. For my, my green. Practicing up for the wedding doings, you know. Oh, speaking of the wedding doings, you guys. Um, so I've been I've been ordering things for the little wedding doings. I got some really good chain. I got some sterling silver chain. I think I got some beads. I'm gonna try to make some little bead mixes. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to do. Who knows? It's a, it's a thing. I got this new little um, cutout thing for my Sizzix. And it's supposed to be like one-stop shop packaging thing. So you, like, you just run it through and then you just staple it onto your little bag. And I was like, oh, that could be good. Because I have a little stamper. For Thunder Horse to send, you know, like a Thunder Horse Ascendant stamp. Order on Etsy. Highly recommend. And you can just put your name on anything. 
It was like twelve dollars. It's like an actual stamp. It has like a it's like a rubber stamp on a block with a little handle. Okay. So I was like, oh that'll be good. So I'm gonna I wanna try that. I gotta get Shannon to bring my Sizzix up here. Shannon's just running up and down, up and down. I'm just like, Shannon, can you do can you I was like, can you go get the mail? Can you can you take this downstairs? Can you take this upstairs? Can you bring me this? She just pushed me in my rolly chair yesterday. <laughs> and I said, oh, did you just push me in my rolly chair? And she said, yes. We were just being silly. Good morning, everybody. Okay. <clears throat> it's supposed to be 70 in Washington, according to Mallory. Oh, my. Oh, Ro Roseanne's going to get snow as well. It's cold in South Carolina. What time is the doctor's appointment? Doctor's appointment is at 11 today. So, see what they say, I guess. Um, in the interim, just a reminder, all the orders went up to the website. So, if you have a custom, they're up on the website. We showed you how to do it yesterday in the end of the live. If you need help, maybe go to the end of the live yesterday. We went to the website stuff. Um, so, those are all posted. And then also a reminder about FOC, Found Objects Challenge, is due on the 31st. That is a Sunday. Sunday. At midnight. Um, I do see that some people posted while I was away. They posted, like, what they got. And they some posted finished projects. So I do have to go through that, you know, with all my extra time. And... <laughs> Get, get the list together. So I, if you did submit yours, I still just haven't gone through Facebook yet since I've been home. So I got to do that. And then, um, yeah, today we're working on this little whatever this is. This is a little baggie of stuff. This is unplanned and unbothered if you are new here. Uh, so basically Shannon makes up these little baggies of things and I don't know what's in there. And it's kind of like a little unboxing doings. And uh, we do a design on the fly because that's how I like to roll. And that's what we're going to do. Now, I do, I haven't unpacked yet, so I, I don't know what we might need out of my travel bag here. This is my traveling bag, in case you were wondering. I really like it. This is actually, um, so I think I tagged my journal. Did I tag my journal? My bead journal? My bead, my bean design book? I tagged my bead design book uh, in, I think my bargain bead box videos. Anyways, it's from Ranger. It was actually sent to me by one of the Thunder Horse descendants because I was, um, it was sent to me by Annalise. She sent me a new one because I was gone into the journaling, you know, and then I was like, oh, this would be really good for a bead book. And then she sent me one for a bead book. So shout out to Annalise. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about before we jump into this design on the fly. Uh, let me see if I have a pen. I got a post-it. I don't have a pen. I have a pen? I have a marker. I don't think. <sighs> Good morning. Uh, okay, so as you know, around here, Thunder Horse Descendant is all into supporting our Thunder Horse Descendant chatters, our Thunder chatters, right? Like, this is a thing that we do because we are cultivating an environment of artists because so we don't end up in this craptastic whatever they got going on on the internet situation so because we don't do that so if you have an etsy shop or a website or a youtube channel or something where you sell your wares that you are making please put it in the comments so that i can write it down and get it on my favorites list um, if I already have you on my favorites list, you will know because sometimes we go through my favorites list on like Etsy and stuff. And if you're already on there, don't, don't, you don't have to put your stuff. I mean, you can, I guess, if you want other people, go ahead, put it. If you want other people to know, go ahead, put it. Uh, but I want to make sure I got everybody because the only people that I know of in this group who have a YouTube channel are Rosanna. I think Gina has a YouTube channel, but she is. I don't know if she's doing beading on there. PK has PK has a YouTube channel, but she does books. 
Um, so anyways, the reason I want this information is not only so we can share it with all the rest of the internet, but also because then when I go through my stuff, I want to make sure I got everybody on there. I don't want anybody to feel left out. Like if I go through my list, because I always go through my Etsy list live online. And like, if you don't tell me if you have a shop, I can't know about it. And also, this is where I buy all my gifts from, if you didn't know. Most of the time, I just buy from you guys as a way to support other artists. That's a thing I do. Um, Christmas and all that stuff. So, not yet, but I want to open my Etsy shop. I don't know how to do a YouTube channel. Oh, if you want to have a YouTube channel and you don't know how to do a YouTube channel, uh, Cindy, uh, that's fine. I help people set up their YouTube channels and um, help with stuff like that just because 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 I like to help people <laughs> if you if you need help I can help you um, <clears throat> all my makings will be with your beads <laughs> well they don't have to be with my beads that's the thing we don't do that if you have Facebook and you want to post your stuff on the Facebook group Thunder Horse Descendant Facebook group but it's not from Thunder Horse Descendant that's fine we don't care about that you just put the hashtag, what's on my mat today? Because the reason we don't do that is because I've been around the internet prior to starting all this business. This is what I found out. You go around the internet to these bead companies, different people's stuff or whatever, and you, you post your stuff and you're posting stuff. And then you get in trouble because it's not from their website or whatever stuff they're selling or something and I just think that's kind of stupid because <laughs> I feel like we're all beating right isn't beating the goal I thought beating was the goal <laughs> I thought we are building creativity over here that's what we're doing so we, we don't care about what everybody else is doing so I used to get in trouble because I would show my stuff and they'd be like oh you can't post it they take my post down because it's from some other company and I'm like oh well Okay, so we don't do that because we're you know, that's not important. We're here to support you. Do you have a YouTube how-to video? No, I, I don't think so. I don't. Um, <clears throat> sometimes we do some stuff like some behind-the-scenes stuff in the um, in the members, in the members only. Sometimes I show like how I do my my stuff and the members only but i've never done like a youtube video about it um i helped some people set up their shops like i helped uh um i i think i helped rosanna set up her youtube channel i think i helped uh moon sprite hollow set up her etsy shop um just different stuff it's it's just ex I just experienced that. Oh, I'm sorry, Angel, that you had to experience that. We try not to do that. <clears throat> the only time we ever take posts down, actually, I don't know that I've ever, ever had to take a post down. If I did, it was, Shannon probably did it. Shannon's a um, moder mo mo moderator, <laughs> moderator, moderator on the, um, on the Facebook, and PK is moderator on the YouTube channel. So she actually does, PK does that for us from her house, so, because she's awesome. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, the only time we ever took posts down, I think there was like one time a few years ago where people were getting, some chick was getting snappy in the group, and I don't even think I had to take it down. I think someone said, hey man, get your shit together and get out. <laughs> and she left. <laughs> so she's like, we don't do that here. <laughs> Just start a DIY website, but I can't afford a store option on it yet. New and starting, Daddy, Debbie. You did help me with, with me with helping to do, make videos. Yeah, I remember that, Rosanna. Um, okay, Shannon has another order to pack and ship. Should I call you something or what? Uh... Cindy, can I just, uh, beating time with Cindy, is that, are you like, are you like, uh, Cindy, Cindy C? I had a lot of Cindy's and then you change your name or maybe you're new. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, just text me on the back phone. 
<laughs> you can either text me on the bat phone or call me on Facebook. Either way. Doesn't matter to me. Um, so, yeah, I do that. If you need help, anything with uh, that I can offer uh, as far as social media things. I think last time we were on the members only, we talked about ChatGBT, which is uh, super awesome if you're doing descriptions for your items. Um, we've talked in the past about how to edit. Uh, this was on an old editing pro program, but like how to like do a basic video edit. Like we've talked about a lot of stuff. My grandson changed my name. Oh, okay, Cindy E. Okay, I was like, I didn't know if you were Cindy C, Cindy E, or Cynthia. And I was like, should I ask her that? <laughs> Um, yeah, so just FYI, if you need help with stuff, um, I'm around. I'm busy, busy, so I'll probably tell you like a time, but I'm around if you need help. Sorry, work, blah, blah, blah. Oh, hi, PK. <laughs> Dang, work's getting in trouble with the beating. Um, oh, I dropped my pen. Oh. It's, like, it's like, oh, I dropped my pen. This might be dangerous. Hi, Nita. So, yeah, anyway. So if you have a website or you have an Etsy store or you have stuff and things, put it in the comments so I can get you on my list. If you need help with stuff, social media things, YouTube things, Etsy things. I was on Etsy for a long time. Um, I'm on Big Commerce now. You all know, because you've been around here for a long time, that we jumped around a bunch of different sites trying to figure it out. I would highly recommend Big Commerce. That's where we've been for the last amount of time and it's good what we found out jumping around to all these other websites is just basically like <clears throat> not all the websites that they offer are good for people who sell like one-of-a-kind items okay so that's something to note uh big commerce is the cheapest that i have found as far as what you need to actually run it um, setting it up is pretty easy. Running it is pretty easy as long as you get like some basic stuff. Uh, you don't have to pay a lot of extra money like on Shopify. You can, but you don't have to. Um, we pay for Privy. That's the email thing. It's 30 bucks a month. Um, and we pay for, I pay for tax, something or other jar thing. Just so it keeps track of where what states I'm selling in, so I know like when I'm gonna meet Nexus. Uh, but other than that, I don't think I pay for anything else on there. So it rounds out to be probably um, just to like run the site, not including like the shipping apps and all that stuff. Um, but just for those apps, it's like thirty dollars and a hundred dollars and a hundred and thirty dollars. So that's like two thirty. 260. It's like $260. So it's like $260, which is significantly better than uh, when we were on Etsy and we were paying them close to $2,000 a month. You remember that? So just, just an FYI on that. If you're looking for a website, maybe check it out. Uh, so nobody put anything in the comments. So we must got everybody, as far as I know, on the, on the everything. So, let's go do some beating, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Talked for 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, I painted my nails. You guys don't have to look at my stupid, horrible nails anymore. Okay, little Shannon, what do you have for us today? Oh, she got new stuff? Oh, she's stinky. Oh, she wants me to make earrings. Look at her. <laughs> And I'm on to you. What do we got? Ooh. All right. Hey. Oh, she gave me the one with the green bead. That's okay. I like that. Okay. So, okay. All right. All of this for me. I suppose these are for the little earrings. These are probably the earrings she wants me to make, and then she's probably going to try to buy them. I'm on to her. She does that kind of thing. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Good morning, good morning. Thank you. She's stalking for her store. <laughs> Just ugly earrings. 
<laughs> I know, right, BK? <laughs> Randy, you're awesome. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I, I, here we go. Shameless plugs. This is all stuff that we sold on Thunder Rose Descendant. We sold these and these and these yesterday. And then this one we sold a couple weeks ago. These are the uh, Coochie Pendants from Afghanistan. Right? So, Shannon's stocking her store, I guess. Let's go ahead and do like this. Make a little necklace. That would be cute. I mean... As sparkly, that wouldn't be my first choice because, you know, I like to go kind of ethnic with that. But, you know, we'll see what we got going on. Let's make these earrings for Shannon so she can do it. So she can have earrings for her ugly earring store or whatever it is. <laughs> Should we paint them? Should we do a little painting today? Beware, I have a bunch of questions. <laughs> That's fine. I had a bunch of questions, too, when I started, Cindy. I woke up early thinking that I needed to get going on the morning coffee talk, and then I realized that you were back, and I didn't need to get ready. Ha ha. <laughs> Good job, Rosanna. Yeah, so, well, we could do we could do uh, these just plain, and then we could do these ones painted if we wanted to. She had them bring us some paint. Let's see, what color are we going to ask her for? Blue? We can bring us some paint. Maybe do just a little bit of something. I don't know. <clears throat> um, ba bum bum bum, ba bum bum. Okay, I got an idea for this. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna add whatever that is. I'm gonna add it in. My desk is a wreck, you guys. <clears throat> Hey, Shannon! <laughs> She's probably like, what do you want, woman? I'm only getting his half seats. Oh. Oh, hold on. Let's see if this is working. I'm slow, sorry. <laughs> slow. Okay, so I got my potato paints. We'll have to shake those up. Look, I just found this really cute note cards, Jefferson Bobby. I'll have to show them to you. And I got my paint brushes. Shannon's on it. Um, okay, so I need a little tiny paintbrush. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think I ordered a whole bunch of new paintbrushes. I don't know if I showed you guys. Oh, yeah. Well, I probably showed some of you. And when I was home, we were doing painting on the um, the canvas. I haven't finished mine yet. I still got to finish it. But I ordered a bunch of new paintbrushes um, because I'm kind of into that. I'm kind of into that right now, I guess. Oh, oh, uh oh. That's gone forever. Can't pick it up. Intercom is on mute. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Jeff got me these for, for Christmas. Uh, 
Um, they're from the Pretty Hoardy Hoarder on Etsy.com. He ordered me this really cool box, and um, so these are like just little cards that they made. Cause you know I love some little cards. Oh, that's the envelope. Oh, it's on the card too. That's cute. Just little cards for gifting. With a little mushroom on it. Death cap mushroom. Jeez, it's a serious mushroom. I don't know. And that will be the name of the imaginary story. Just ugly earrings. <laughs> yeah, lore. These are cute. I have to send one to somebody. Maybe I'll put it in somebody's order. I've been wanting to make some um, some cards, some just like some thank you stamped thank you cards for our orders because hello, I don't know if anybody's been on the internet. They're like thirty dollars for thank you cards. Ridiculous. But, you know, with all my extra time. All right, let's do this. We've got to shake this. Who needs a shake weight? That's not enough, but. Blue. Of course we love blue. Do I have white? What's her face was asking me for white. I swear I do. I don't see it in here. It's in the other one. Oh, grapes. Scared myself. <laughs> well, we may not be really professional around here, but we're fun. Okay. That's all I'm at. Okay, we gotta have a pop color. What's our pop color gonna be? Not orange Rosanna, because of course I wanna do an orange, but I mean, we can only do so much orange, so we gotta just not do orange. How about pink? Like pink, is that good? I got a pearly pink. What's this one? Purple. Smells like cool tones, though. I'm mean, gonna, mm. Mm. How about this one is such a mess. It's always been a mess. It just continues to be a mess. It's a mess. Look at this thing. See this? Look at this messy thing. Hi. Let me try a different one. Oh, that one has pearls in it. The pearls take forever to shake up. That would probably draw people to the store because of the name. Yeah, probably. I can tell you're not moving. Look. The cool people will call it J-U-E. <laughs> Maybe green? Well, if I can't get this pink to go, I might have to go green. It's a pearly one, so it all gets on the bottom and then the little ball will move around. Ain't nobody got time for you, man. Okay. Next. That's the same one. Stupid little pearl. I'm in a mood. <laughs> all right, that one's moving. Up, why would you not be plugged up? Oh, 
think I got more on my finger than I did on the on the bag. Okay. Woo! Uh oh. <laughs> Danger. That was bad. That was way too much. This is why I end up painting everything at home. Because I'm just like, well, I gotta use it. So we are using ruby, blue fluorite, and cobalt. That's what we got going on. Dun, 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 dun. Need something to put this on so I don't get it on my mat. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Let's do it. I think I'm going to start in the middle. This little pink. Mm -hmm. Might as well do the other side while I'm at it. So I've been really into painting this canvas for Jefferson's house. It's been pretty fun. I think I shall do pink here as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's cute. I don't have any water, so I'm using my coffee. No judgment from the back, please. My blue probably already dried up. It sure did. Well, we'll go with the teal. We got all the teal in the world. All right. That's pretty good out of ten. I gotta get this blue working. Well, don't drink your coffee. <laughs> no, I drank it all up before we uh, before we started. <laughs> Come on, you like this work? Ah. Ah. Try polka again. Oh, it's just a little bit. See. If I know. 
It is the morning coffee show. There we go. Now we're doing it. Okay, I want this to be blue. so carefully. I got my application to Aneta <clears throat> uh, yesterday in the mail. That's what I got so far. So I'm going to let it dry and then um, I'm in debate if I'm going to, I might go over it one more time just to make it a little brighter. I don't know if I'm going to sand it this time. You know how I usually do the sanding? I don't know if I will do that. <laughs> yeah, just put a little coffee on it. It'll be fine. All right, so that's those. I'll just give those a little minute. I do have a. Uh, well, I did just have it. Oh, okay, I have a, a black marker. So I think what I'll do is, um, I don't know if that'll work, but I'm gonna try to go in there once this is dry and black marker those little deer out because I like those little deer or whatever they are. Good morning, Donna. So I'll put these ones to the side, and then I'm gonna do this other. I'm gonna do these other ones, I guess. I was going to leave them plain, but now I'm like, mm, I don't know if plain is the way to go. More is more. Since I got my paints out. They'll have to be the same color, though, so flip-flop colors. Let me start with teal. Paints, I'll oh, well, use them, right? Hello, Mr. Bunsen. Are you looking for some kind of naughtiness to get into? Looks like you are. You guys, last night I put Winter in her room to eat her food, and I let her out, and then she was whining, and I was on the phone with Jeff, and I so I let her back in there so she could eat some more like an hour later, and then I forgot her in there, and I was watching um, my big fat Greek wedding, the third one, trying to anyway, and I heard this big crash, and I was like, what is happening? And I was like, oh, Winter's in there. She was only in there for like less than an hour. And I opened the door, and so what she did is she knocked over all of the the uh, little Tupperwares that I keep the pet food in, and she ate all of her dry food that was in the container. And I was like, oh, good Lord, we are in trouble now. I don't know if she got sick, but she probably should have got sick based on how much she ate. Anyways, mom has to pay more attention to the children. This is the moral of that story. I was pretty tired last night, though. Maybe I'll just leave these. Wait, let me see. Let me do the blue.
cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I kind of dig it. Like if I just use leave the rest of it bronze. Maybe I'll do a little blue around this triangle. Let's see if I can do that with this little brush. Ooh, that's not kind of wet. Still. <laughs> that's not exactly what I was going for, but it might work. Like those, I'll let them dry. I kind of got a little smudge on this one. There's something I have. I will let it dry and then I'll mess with it. Might be able to scrape it off of there. Done. <laughs> right? He's busy. Um, I'm just looking to see should I go over this one more time? I think I might go over it one more time just to make it a little brighter and then I won't sandpaper it. That. This one just side just doesn't look as dark as light. Maybe that's just me. Okay. And then I have to get a new one for the pink. Let's see. Pink, 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 pink. <clears throat> I just have one little blue spot right here. Which I don't need. Call that good on that, and then I think these guys are okay. Good little smudginess, we've got a little smudginess. So, here's what I'm gonna do I'll take this really wrecked brush, I'm just gonna put it the smidgiest of paint on there. I'm gonna do smudginess on this side. Now it looks like it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> All right. Now we are ready to do beading. So I think what I'm gonna do here, I gotta get some right, bronze head pins. Do we have bronze? No. Why would we have bronze? We got gold. Or we have these uh, gunmetal color. We have copper. Uh, I'm gonna go with gold. Whatever, it's fine. Some of these longer guys. One of these things is not like the other. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got five holes. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so here's the question. Are we going to put anything cool in the middle? I think we maybe probably should. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Cindy, I think they came in the bargain bead box. Your nails look nice. Thank you. <laughs> dun, dun. I can't believe Shannon didn't give me any drops for this. It's kind of a little bit interesting, but okay. I'm gonna use these Jasper drops. I'm just like, what's on this desk this time, Roll? I'm like, what's over here? Oh, we could do leaves. The Jasper drops are not really going with my color scheme. What else is over here? Oh, okay. There we go. We got some metal. Perfect. I'm not going to mess around with the leaves. Here we go. I was just thinking, like, we should probably put something in the middle, though. Like, in the middle of the... Right here, something different. Like, that could be fun. So, we'll just do that with our little design here. So, I'm going to go... First of all... Woo! Hello, Houston. Welcome in. Ta -da, ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da. Hello. Oh, one fell on the mat. Not good. Come here, you. Hey, quit that. I got a little paint on our metal. I have to wait for those to dry up a little hot second. But in the interim, hey, you are not supposed to be over here. You'll get out of here. Two. We'll do the outsides. One, two. Let's do the inside. I want to make the inside smaller, I think. And then long on the outside? Or smaller on the outside and long on the inside? Let me just put some of these on here and see what we got. Three. Three. Are those 
petal beads you just put in the paint? Yes. I'm waiting for them to dry. I'm just using these as placeholders. I will mix them in. I'm just trying to see if I want to do long on the outside or short on the outside. Four, five, six, So, do I want to go do I want to go long on the outside short on the inside that's not a very good representation there we go or the other way there we go long on the inside do short ones on the probably oh yeah I think I like that better it's already looking better I like that better you guys like that better I like that better it's quite cute actually I kind of like this one maybe with just all the black it's kind of cool maybe we could put these painted ones over with the other guy roll them over here Yes, right? It's pretty good. Let's see if these guys are drying up yet. They're still sticking to the paint. Oh, they're pretty much dry. Pretty good out of 10. I think I like this with just the black. Do you guys like it with just the black? Or do you think I should add some metal? The painted metal. Some bumps in here and here, and I don't need that. Get out of there. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe on the ends? Maybe on the ends. Let's try it. Let's just try it real quick. One of these short guys. Okay. One. Quit falling to part. Try and do something here. I do kind of like that. Maybe I'll put that on the bottom for the bottom bead and then I'll use the rest of those over on those other really super painted ones. So that would be cool. Ta -ta. I'm loving these earrings. Good. No patina metal for this one. Oh, PK says just the black. Angel says also just the black. Wow, I am loving these earrings. The fact that you painted and designed them makes them really special. Hmm, yeah. You might have some copiers. Oh, that's fine. That's why we do this, right? So we put it on the internet so people can know about it. Because it's fun and we like it. Because we're fun. Because we're not professional, but we're fun. Remember? I told you that. Okay, I do, I, uh, uh, now I'm confused. Do I want to do the metal on the bottom? I'm going to do it. I think I should do it. Because I'll tie it all together. Just one note, just one on the bottom. All right, here we go. So I'll do that. And I'm going to replace, I like the, um, the amount of beads we have on. It's kind of a crazy situation. So I'm not going to. I'm just gonna still put three, even though I got one of those on there. And then for this one, I got what? Seven. I got seven. Excuse me, miss, can you not with that, please?
She's in her little house. She likes to take these leaves that fall off my hibiscus plant and put them in her house. I don't know why. She's making a nest. Three, four, five, six. No, that's seven. Three, six, seven, yeah. Can't count. Don't even know how to count. One of those over there. The one of these over here. Ba do ba do. Two, three, four. Nine. What's happening? Am I not counting that one? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Get out of here. Shoot. Go away. All right. So I think it's gonna be cute. I'm liking it. Hey, everybody. Hi, Rose. I do more watching than working. <laughs> I'm just here spreading the joy. Did you guys see that I uh, put that little post? Oh, wait, I was going to try to do these deer. Uh, did you see that I put that little post yesterday? Hold on, I'm in the trenches. I don't know if you guys can see that. The lighting's kind of bad. Um, I put the, uh, I put that post yesterday. I found it on the internet somewhere, and I was just like, oh, yeah, that's me. And I was just like, I'm going to make everything in my life more beautiful, and that shall be my life. I'm just like, yeah, that's me. That's what I'm doing. Boop. Cute. I like that. You know, little deer or whatever they are super cute all right let's do this uh i'm going to attach these with jump rings because that's the thing that's the thing i like to do i'm gonna do gold i guess we're doing gold sure we're gonna call it a we're gonna call it a design choice i might even use gold earring wires what the heck why not Oh my gosh, you guys, if I don't clean this mat off, we're never going to do anything ever again. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. This whole upstairs house, because I can't move around so much now that I'm with my knee and everything. I'm just like, I'm going to have to, I need help. I don't know. Okay, so let's roll these up. Where's our, uh, we don't even have tool. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, I'm sorry, it's 10.02. Hi. I guess I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was so late. I was just over here playing with my paints. See, and this is why I don't do my nails. Because why? They're already wrecked. I just did them literally five minutes ago. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Let me at least get these, let me at least get these little guys on there so you can have the real idea.com. If you ain't got time, that's fine. I understand. But now, as a reminder, I have been finishing these videos. Uh, if you missed that, I have been finishing these videos in the morning, like, because, you know, I talk and I do all this crap and I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I have been finishing the videos. It's called uh, Morning Coffee. Uh what is it called? I haven't done one in a week. Completion of the morning coffee project or some dang thing like that. Anyways, I, I try to post it up the same day, if not the next day, so that if you wanted to see it, then you, you can watch it. But it's a recorded video because I like to listen to music. Like if you guys weren't here and I wasn't had to fight YouTube about listening to music, like we'd be jamming right now or listening to a book, one of the two. But since we are, can't do that on YouTube, I'm a little scared of that tail. Uh, 
I think after morning coffee. Yeah, that's what it's called. After morning coffee, completed project or something. It's something about it being completed. I know that much. Anyway, so you can always catch that. Where It's usually where I'm like making the other side or something because <laughs> we've done like one side. But I'm fine with it. I think like if people, because also some people don't really like to be involved with live videos. So it's kind of like a recorded video. So they can, I don't know, not have the liveness about it or whatever. Who knows? People have their preferences. So I've been doing that and, and that seems to be going pretty good. We just started that this year like the beginning of the year or something, or like whenever I came back. And uh, people seem to like that, I guess. Because they like to see the finished product, which <laughs> makes sense when you're watching a project video. <laughs> Whatever. I'm like, sometimes we don't get done. It's fine. We'll just try it again tomorrow. Speaking of trying it again tomorrow, I've got... Uh, I've still got those, I've only done one of the bargain bead box projects that I planned out because, you know, I was on vacation or whatever. And so I got, I think maybe uh, two left to do on that or three even to do that. The wrap on that one got a little long. I'm gonna lie about it. these bad boys on there you know I don't think that the I don't think the, the painted metal looks bad on there it actually kind of just looks like part of it I like it I think it's a good choice where's my jumper I do really love these little beads these little the black with the with the teal a b whatever because you know I love me some teal the little crystals and they're like three dollars I mean come on I'd be only use this many. Okay, I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out. There's one. Okay, so if you don't know, this is called a cold connection. This is not what they call a warm connection. A warm connection would be if you were to wire wrap them right onto the binding. Now, I like to utilize the oval jump rings as a hinge because I like a lot of movement in my pieces, especially when I'm doing earrings and fringe. Uh, I don't really, and here's the reason, I don't really like to do like the whole beaded wire, unbeaded wire, beading wire, you know what I'm saying? Like with the crimp thing at the bottom or whatever, and then you like run it and then, it, I mean, yeah, it's more movement, but it takes too dang long, so I don't like it. <laughs> So I just do like this. And then to compensate for the less movement of the wire, the, the ball head pins, I just use these as a hinge so that they can move around. If you use a big enough one, you will not have a problem in my personal opinion. Hey, there's leftovers from the live sale on the website. Um, Kathy, uh, Shannon, We'll be posting up the leftovers either today or tomorrow. So if you don't know, Shannon takes all of our photos. So after the sale gets done, when I start doing the invoices on Monday, she goes downstairs and she starts taking pictures of all of the, uh, the leftover items. And she does shipping that day as well from the weekend. And uh, so she will then be editing those pictures today. But I don't think we had too many items left over, so she should be starting to post probably today. I would say they'll probably all be posted by tomorrow. I do think we have more of these little guys. I think what we didn't have more of, and people were asking today, is we had this same bead in eight millimeter and six millimeter, and the eight millimeters sold out, that much I know. But I think we had more of these little guys. These are the fours. 
Okay, where's my... Uh... Oh, I love it. Even though it's got gold and bronze, I don't care. I love it. Super cute. We gotta stop making them so cute. Oh, how are we gonna connect this? We need a bigger jumper. Hmm, do we? Do I wanna use two? Do I wanna use one? Hmm, let me see. Going to be a bit of a earring. Get your life together. Sometimes you gotta talk a little smack to your fine teeth. I'm like, oh, do you wanna stay home? <laughs> you guys, I'm, I'm in a mood. Oh, I'm just gonna use two. Put this guy on there. Have a lovely day. Oh, yes. Good. Now, given uh, the patina paint will probably wear off on this top little ridge uh, where, I, where I have put this other metal jump ring, it'll take some time, but it'll probably happen. If you wanted to, you could hit that with a little, just this little part here, you could hit it with a little clear nail polish to give it a little extra protection. You could do a little spray of Krylon. You could do the, uh, the glossy, whatever it is, vintage stuff on the top, just on the top there so you don't get so much wear. If you feel the need, and if not, then whatever. I'm wondering if I should do highlights on this one. Just because I have black beads. Let me just, let me just, the more is, let me just do one little swipe of black on here. See what I did with my little line? I just made. I just followed this one little line. I got a little, a little oopsie right there, but oh, it's gonna be close enough to see that. So you can't even see it from far away. Yeah, super cute. I better do it on this one before I forget. I'll have to finish these when I get back from the doctor. I'll do try maybe try to do the little video. So I like these, so that'll be like so. I think those are really cute. I like that we painted the metal and put it on the end. I think it kind of ties it all together. And then these two, um, for these two I'll be using more of the painted ones that we did. This is what they, oh, they all fell off the thing. They're dry, but I just wanted to show them to you. So I just rolled them around in the paint. I didn't paint all of it. Uh, it's not supposed to all be painted. I just rolled them around in the paint because I had extra paint. So I'll probably use more of these over on this side with this more painted situation. And uh, I might do a different taper of some kind. I don't know. I guess we'll see how I feel when I get back from the doctor. Sorry, I, I went uh, over time uh today and then oh uh just 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 so you know also maybe we'll work on this tomorrow i saw these and i and i like this but in this is this situation but uh it needs to be less sparkly and more grungy so uh we'll probably do knotting on this or some kind of leather situation maybe like a I don't know what we got to have a little more see i was like oh i'll add this because it's a little more grungy you know i can't be having too much yeah that'll be good i can't be having too much sparkle with my little pendant that's just my personal taste so i'm thinking well if we if we put leather or we put string that's gonna like grunge it down a little bit so maybe that's the plan for tomorrow just so you know Oh, okay.
okay. No need. Yay, nodding. <laughs> I've been on a nodding kick. I know you guys are probably sick of my nodding. I'm not all, like, we just did a nodding project for the morning coffee, and then we did a nodding project for the bargain bee box. But I love nodding. It's one of my faves. But maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe we'll do like a loose leather thing or, or something for this. Because it's going to need to be a little less sparkly. Um, <laughs> do you have Ceylon on the site? Uh, we used to have Ceylon on the site. I don't know if it's sold out. If so, I can get some on Friday. Let's see what we got. I don't know right off the top of my head. We used to have a whole bunch of it. I think we sold like a gazillion. Let's see, leather and chains and stringing material. Sorry, I'm looking. You can look with me. I don't care. We got some chain, we got some pendant ready strands, we got some chain, we've got some wire. Oh, it looks like I need to pick up Ceylon. You are like the fifth person to ask me that. I'll put on the list. I'll make a note. Get Ceylon. Ceylon. Ceylon for the site. Check. Got it. Got it. Fabulous. I would like to see something with leather. I have some of those pendants. Yeah. I have some leather. I don't know what kind of leather I have up here. I mean, we could just do like, you know, we could just not put the sparkly beads. And just do like a leather situation. Like, we could do that. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, because that's kind of what happens. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I hope you all had a lovely, spectacular, amazing beading morning. Um, now I got to switch my coffee cup because it's full of patina paint, but, you know, that's fine. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get, oh, hey, since this is up here, this is that thing I was talking about. This is the, this is the little pop-up that you, that is on our website that you need to fill this to get emails from us. Okay. Just because you sign up for an account, that doesn't put you on the email list. This little thing that pops up, that's what puts you on the email list. You have to fill that out. I was talking about that yesterday, so I saw I remind you. Anyway, um, so I'm going to jump off and go to the doctor. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning, probably with more things and stuff, things and stuff. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a good beating day. I hope you found some kind of a uh, great creative inspiration or something whatever you're doing <laughs> and i will see you guys tomorrow morning probably with a full report from what the doctor said <laughs> all right bye guys have a good day